what is good green gang welcome back to my channel so i am about to do two very exciting things i'm about to see an old friend that i haven't seen for such a long time and have a massive catch up we're gonna go for lunch and then i'm doing something else which is the first time i've ever done it before so it's a new experience at my big old age almost 30 i'll be 30 next month I'm very nervous never done this before i've always been a bit too scared but now there's definitely a reason for me to be doing it i just want to see if any of you guys can guess what's going on although it'll probably be in the title but i'm like i'm nervous i'm excited unfortunately i had couldn't have anyone come with me because of like the restrictions and stuff otherwise um my boyfriend would have come with me but it's not happening i've got to do this on my own but i feel like there's meaning in that so yeah it's gonna be like a little cathartic process hopefully hopefully i'll be able to film it again not sure if that's gonna be allowed or not but today i change forever <laughs> i'm so excited guys i'm almost there i'm so nervous i'm literally sweating Hey guys, so as you will have seen, I was in a tattoo shop and of course I had to get something in memory of my pooch, my little baby boy. So that is it. I will show you some pictures of when it was freshly done without the, the sticker thing on it. And I guess I'll kind of take you through the process of healing because this is my first ever one and I'm super excited. But right now I'm in a rush. I have got a train, I've got to leave in like five minutes. I'm going to Manchester. Once you pop, once you pop, baby, you can't stop. <laughs> yeah, so that that's what happened. It was very exciting. I'll talk you guys through it a little bit more later on because I'm in such a rush right now, but I just wanted to quickly show you. I am so, so happy with the results and I'm so happy that I waited and I found like the perfect artist and exactly what I wanted. Um, the experience was amazing as well. So yeah, I'm super happy. I hope you guys like it. I asked you guys on Instagram and so many of you guys guessed what it would be. But yeah, it looks exactly like him. It's insane. I feel like a cool person now. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hey gang, what is good? Excuse my appearance, I'm trying to sort my edges out because my hair has gone a bit floofy and I'm just getting ready um, to shoot for Instagram. But I wanted to come in here quickly and just kind of talk to you guys a little bit about the experience of the tattoo and stuff because I didn't want to leave it till the end of the video. Like I know you guys want to know, especially those of you that have never had a tattoo before and are thinking about it because that was me before this guy right here. So the whole experience was honestly amazing. Um, oh my God, I look like such a crackhead right now. I was looking and looking for a while, for a while, sorry, to find the right artist. I'd already found a guy called Cons Thomas Tattoo because a friend of mine, you guys probably know her, I dressed myself pretty sickly, Yannin B. She got a, pic a, a tattoo of her friend, she like years ago by him. And I've never forgotten his name because I just thought it was such an amazing tattoo. Um, and I did message him, but I mean, understandably so, like I think he's super busy and I didn't get a reply and I also think that he probably gets so many messages. But anyway, I found some artists on an Insta called The London Social Tattoo, so I started following them um, and then one of them who is called Rick Tattoo, who is insanely talented um, and he, after speaking with him, he's actually been tattooing for like 14 years, so he's super experienced as well. Anyway, he posted on his story saying that he was going to be in London for a month at South City Market Tattoo Shop. He's usually in Berlin and I think he comes back like once a month or something and he was like, oh, hit me up for animal portraits and I was like, this needs to happen right now. Um, so I messaged him but that story had been up for about an hour. Um, so, you know, I wasn't really sure. I thought he'd get a ton of messages and probably be fully booked already. 
Um, but I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to message because this is definitely the guy that I want to do it. I'll show you guys I'll, his page because honestly he's so talented. And then he didn't reply for like maybe a week, maybe a little less, I can't remember. It probably felt longer because I just knew that I wanted him to do the tattoo. I look fucking funny. <laughs> um, anyway, eventually he replied and he was like, yo. Okay, he wasn't like that. I don't know why I always do like stupid voices for people. It's just, it's like Tourette's, I don't know. But yeah, he messaged back and he was like, dude, I've got some free spots. Like if you're still available, just send um, a deposit here, blah, 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 blah. And as you can imagine, I was so, I was literally over the moon because I knew as soon as Pierre passed away, like I knew he was going on my body. Like that's the first time I've ever been so sure about um, like tattoos and stuff. I feel like I need to take this off because I look wild. I've <laughs> got loads of clips in under here. But yeah, that was the first time I knew for sure that I was getting tatted, like it was happening. So anyway, Rick was super lovely. I obviously explained to him that it's going to be my first tattoo and like, we have my dog that just recently passed away blah, blah blah and he was super kind so yeah i booked in and then i don't know like i was just so excited like i just knew this was something that i wanted to do and i can't remember how long before the tattoo i booked in i think it was just like a couple of weeks and there wasn't really like any nerves it was more so like excited nerves and so it came to the day my boyfriend was supposed to come with me but because of covid um I wasn't allowed to have anyone come with me but I feel like that happened for a reason like for me to go through this experience on my own and like be brave enough to do it on my own and obviously it's a very like sentimental thing for me so it was a special moment to like kind of sit there silently and like think about the pooch and you know just the whole process. Sorry, I've got brain fog right now. But yeah, I got there. Everybody was super friendly. I know this is really stupid, but I also I always feel like a little bit intimidated going into like tattoo and piercing shops because ooh, depending on where you go, I've had bad experiences where like sometimes they just treat you like a little bit lesser, like they're too cool for you. Um, but honestly, like everybody in there was so friendly. Rick, who tattooed me, was so like laid back and chilled and yeah he just made the whole experience really easy i honestly like genuinely wasn't feeling so like that nervous i think i was just more nervous about what if the tattoo doesn't come out right but i knew it would because i chose like the right artist which i really want to emphasize it's so important to choose and research and look for the right artist and know what you want if you're kind of unsure about the tattoos because i've always wanted them but i could never 100% be sure that I'd always be happy with it whereas with this I know I'm always going to be happy with it so anyway yeah we looked through some photos picked the photo of the pooch um and then Rick made the transfer he like printed it out in a few different sizes just to kind of see what I'd prefer and I just went for I think it was like the second largest or the third largest because I wanted it to fit like perfectly in my arm I've got quite small arms to be fair um, and I, I wanted it to be like centered and like have some space around it as opposed to like taking up my whole arm or being really small and I wanted it to be big enough where I could get like enough of the detail in it because I really you know I want it to be basically a photo of Pierre on my arm so anyway it got to it and I lay down in the chair and I was like I heard the needle go on and I had my arm there and I was like just waiting he put the needle in and I was like oh he was like yeah, it's pretty anticlimactic, isn't it? <laughs> I, I genuinely thought it was going to hurt more. I have to say, like, I do think I've got quite a high pain tolerance and I know that this area is, like, one of the less painful areas. So, obviously, depending on when you're where you're getting your tattoo and your, your pain tolerance, it's going to feel different for everyone. But I thought it would at least hurt, like, a bit. I was lying there, like, this kind of feels nice. Is that weird? <laughs> the shop was amazing as well. It was just, like, such a beautiful clean like looking just really nicely done up shop they were playing lo-fi and it was just super chilled so it was a really relaxing experience for me which i'm super grateful for um what did i want to say oh i literally almost fell asleep there was points where i had to stop myself falling asleep because sometimes i twitch in my sleep and i knew that if i fell asleep and twitch the tattoo was done 
So yeah, that's how comfortable the experience was for me. And like I said, Rick made it super easy as well. He was awesome. So shout out to you, Rick. Thank you so much. And yeah, sorry I didn't film more of it, but at first I wasn't really sure like what the kind of general consensus was around me filming. So I didn't want to like take the piss. And then once we'd had a bit of a chat and spoke about like what I do for a living, I asked and he was like, yeah, it's fine. So I kind of wish I'd asked beforehand but I just wanted the experience to be like comfortable but yeah I don't know what else I can talk, say about it right now um obviously you guys will see like the healing process in the video it's been a couple of weeks now and yeah it's healing really really well I think it's almost done like there's barely any like flaky scabby bits anymore but I guess I'll talk to you guys a bit more about that at the end of the video but yeah I hope this was helpful if you have any more questions about the tattoo the pain anything like that leave your questions in the comments down below and I'll definitely get back to you in the comments or I will do like a Q&A or something or I'll just answer the questions in another video. And now back to the vlog. Morning guys. It's been two days. I got this on Wednesday, it's now Friday morning. I don't know if you guys can see that like film. It's called Second Skin. So it's just to like protect the tattoo whilst it's fresh. So basically it's time to take it off and I'm shitting myself. Apparently it's supposed to hurt a little bit but I've been given some good advice by the the artist and also my boyfriend who's got quite a few big tattoos so he knows what he's doing um so yeah how weird is that <laughs> sorry about the noise outside by the way i'm gonna try and attempt to show you guys how i do this um but we shall see i'm gonna be in the shower though like i don't know how i don't know how i'm gonna do this i even forgot like my little mini tripod so i don't know i'm just gonna give it a go how nice is the lighting in here how, how nice is this bathroom <laughs> So this is what it's looking like right now and the trick is to like wet it with warm water and then just slowly kind of peel it off. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Good morning gang. <laughs> You're gonna have to excuse the state of me. I fell asleep with my makeup on yesterday. As you guys can see, my skin <laughs> is not looking too great. I did have a breakout a little while ago, a continuous breakout, it was pretty bad, but now it's mostly just scarring. Um, but obviously with like patchy makeup and then scars, I just look a bit wild, but it's fine. Who cares? We move, it's just skin, and my skin's definitely improving, I think, so. Shall we? Yeah, so yesterday, uh, we went to the cinema last night, we just basically worked all day, went to the cinema, um, and <laughs> we walked into the wrong movie. <laughs> we were supposed to go see Spiral, yeah, and we walked into The Conjuring 2, I believe, and I think we were more than, like, when we walked in, it was, like, more than halfway through the movie, <laughs> but we were just like, okay, well, maybe because we were a bit late, like, it started early or something, and then we were watching this movie, and I was like, I think this is the end <laughs> um but yeah the way that the, the way that the different rooms were like assigned was very confusing so we yeah we basically missed the film so <laughs> um we had to get more tickets and we just watched a later viewing ended up having like three little bottles of wine um, I was feeling pretty glonky. How are you feeling, man? I, I'm pretty glonky. <laughs> Say what? I, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm pretty fine. <laughs> what? Are you like, yeah, I'm good. So yeah, that's why I am the state that I am today. But I just wanted to give you guys a little tattoo update. So I was really bad yesterday. I did. I only cleaned it once, but I did moisturize it like three times. Um, it's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty beautiful. Um, I don't know if you guys can see there's some like rolled up sticky stuff on there That's just from that sticker. So I'm gonna try and wipe some of that off now. And yeah Apparently what's supposed to happen now is this stuff called plasma is supposed to come out So like I don't know this gunky like ink colored stuff comes out I've been told not to freak out because it feels like it seems like the tattoos ruined So I'm just trying to keep it cool because right now it's looking a little bit blurry to me um, But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it cool I'm gonna clean it and moisturize it. And yeah, I think we're gonna go climbing today, uh, bouldering, indoor climbing, which I'm so excited for. Um, and I think today I will take you guys with me and try and vlog it a little bit, see what we can, uh, see what we can do. 
but for now I'm gonna clean clean this tattoo so you guys can come with me oh yeah <laughs> hi hi oh this lighting's a bit better in here apparently I was doing it all wrong yesterday to get some warm water on there kitchen towel now oh he's looking so beautiful isn't it mad how much that looks like him i'm so happy had a little cry last night um i was just looking at it and it just made me a bit emotional i just miss him so much like just every little thing just reminds me of him um and like I was saying to like my friends and my boyfriend the other day when i was at home oh by the way i'm using bepanthin and I'm just like warming it up in my hands. Um, so you just need to use like a really thin layer. My boyfriend said that the best way to do it is to just tap it in so you're not kind of dragging the tattoo. Yeah, I was saying like every time I come home, I keep expecting him to like run up to the door. Um, the other day I thought I'd left something on the grass near my house. And um, instead of going to get it straight away, I said to myself in my head, um, I was like, oh, it's all right, I'll just go check when I take Pierre out for his last, like, wee, or his last little toilet run. So I still don't think it's fully registered that, like, he's not coming back. But yeah, I'm just glad I've got something to commemorate him, because he really is. Uh, he really is a massive part of me and um, yeah I just learned so much from having him He's such an amazing dog so yeah there it is so I've got to do that three times a day like morning afternoon evening just to make sure it doesn't dry out and stuff but yeah hopefully I don't start freaking out over the next few days we'll see feels so weird every time I see it I'm like <laughs> it's mad mad oh yeah I think I said that I was supposed to get another one the day after I got this one but so basically my boyfriend was booked in for a massive um leg piece but he ended up cancelling so I because I was going to go with him and just get a tiny thing but yeah he ended up cancelling so I also didn't do that I do have another one planned, which is also a very sentimental one for me. But I need to, there's something I need to find before I can have that done. And then I need to find an artist who's going to do it. Wow, my skin looks so mad right now. Um, but yeah, there's the update, pup date. Um, I'm going to carry on editing this vlog. Boyfriend's just out at the moment, so I'll quickly do that before we go climbing. I'm so excited to take you guys climbing with me. I did not think I would like it as much as I do, but it's so fun. It's so difficult though, but it's so fun. And it's like one of those ones where, like if you can't get one, for me anyway, if you can't get one, I get really frustrated and I have to be able to get that route. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm excited. I'll see y'all in a little bit when I don't look so crusty. Peace out, A town down. <laughs>just me again i thought i'd come in and narrate this bit because i feel like this footage is like a little bit uneventful it was a bad day for me in terms of climbing <laughs> i think being exhausted from like the tattoo i'd had quite a full day that day like 
I went to see my friend and then I went straight for the tattoo which obviously like the adrenaline rush and stuff like that just made me you know how it is it makes you really tired afterwards and then after that packing in a rush and then getting on a train for like two hours all the way to Manchester the next day after that going to cinema and then being kind of hungover it was a bad day for climbing for me usually I would do like quite a few different routes and stuff I also think that I'm trying to do like more difficult ones for me um, so I do stay stuck on them a little bit longer and once I get one that I can't do I'm like determined that I have to get this route um, but as you guys will see this day it just did not happen for me I was so frustrated after about a million tries my amazing boyfriend jumped in and showed me how it's done because he is a f***ing boss at climbing like I want it can I just be you when I'm older <laughs> I still didn't manage it after that <laughs> nah I'm not being funny but look at him go though like, how do you make things look so easy? It's not fair. <laughs> As you guys will see, I called it the root of doom. And it's so frustrating watching it back now because I'm like, you could have literally done that so easily. But it just wasn't my day, okay? I was tired. And literally after this, I stopped because I just couldn't physically do anymore. I was exhausted, my muscles were sore. And also when you keep doing the same route over and over again, um, it tires like exactly the same parts of your muscles because you just keep using the exact same muscles the whole time. Um, so sometimes it is better to just move on to another route but I am stubborn and I just cannot, <laughs> I'm not that person, I refuse to give up. <laughs> Let me know if any of you guys climb, I'd love to chat to my little climbing gang out there. Um, and yeah, also the reason I didn't talk in the vlog is just because there was music playing in the gym so it would have been copyrighted so I hope you guys don't mind. But yeah, um, the next clip is just me on the train going home and then I'm going to chat to you about my tattoo now, give you a quick update and then at the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey guys, we are back. And I'm absolutely peppered. That's one I've learned being in Manchester quite often recently. Um, that absolutely killed me. I had no energy to begin with. Definitely started falling asleep in the cab on the way home. <laughs> so now I've got to try and not nap because tomorrow we're going to Alton Towers. <laughs> so I need to get a good night's sleep. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys! Wait, let me zoom you in a little bit. Welcome. If you made it to the end of the vlog, well done, congratulations. I know it probably wasn't the most entertaining, but I'm home. I've been home for about a week now, just been getting on with work, to be honest, and seeing like friends and having a little catch up and stuff like that. So, quick update on the tattoo. He is looking incredible. Obviously, it's like not as dark and stuff now, which I kind of like because I feel like it looked a bit like a sticker or like a fake tattoo before. If I bring you in quite close, I'm not sure if you you'll be able to see but there's like some like skin peeling off like there's little white flaky bits but I think he is pretty much healed now tomorrow it will have been two weeks exactly since I've had the tattoo and what's happened since I showed you it last in the vlog is basically it just kind of scabbed up a little bit was really dry so I've been moisturizing it as soon as I notice any scabbiness or any of these flaky bits I moisturize it which I'm going to do right now because I don't want them to pull out any ink I don't know if that's what it does, but that's what I'm assuming. But I think, honestly, I've been really lucky with my first tattoo. It's been such an amazing process, like watching it heal and stuff like that. I've had no issues. I don't even think I got any of that plasma stuff that I was telling you about, the gunk that's supposed to come out. But I do feel like that is because, obviously, it's such a, like, fine, delicate tattoo. Like, the lines are really fine, and it's a lot of just, like, tiny little marks as opposed to, like, thick lines. I do think that's probably why it's been quite easy to heal. And potentially why it wasn't that painful. How do I show you guys this? Look how I'm sitting right now. Am I okay? <laughs> the ears where it gets closer to like your elbow crease. I heard that that's meant to be quite painful in here. Legit. Genuinely, when he got to that part, I was trying so hard to not to laugh because it was so ticklish. <laughs> but yeah, I do think maybe the reason it wasn't so painful, as well as like my high pain tolerance, is just the fact that it was in like quite a pain-free place. And also... Um, yeah, it's not like a thick, heavy tattoo. There's not a lot of, like, intense shading. Um, when he added the whites, the highlights in the eyes and stuff, for example, right at the end, that was probably the most painful part. And again, it wasn't 
painful um it just hurt a little bit more or i felt it more than the rest of it and that's just because they're going over um skin that's already tender because it's already kind of just been tattooed on so it's still like an open wound i guess but yeah considering i've got super sensitive skin and stuff like that i think i've been super lucky it's healed so well obviously like the right artist is going to do a proper job as well so not go too deep or anything like that but yeah i think that's all i have to say on it i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for coming along with me on this crazy ride we call life ah. i'm just so happy that i've got him on my body now as for like meaning obviously you guys know he was like my child he was literally the love of my life like i've never loved anything as much as i love that that dog as much as i love pierre um and the reason i got it here first of all it's just like the placement is amazing in my opinion but also he's right next to my heart he's close to my heart which he will always be and he's by my side which he will always be um i guess it's kind of like what's the word like metaphorically he'll always be by my side i'm so emotional i need to stop <sighs> gather yourself so yeah that that is it for the meaning of why i placed it where i placed it oh <sighs> anyway i'm gonna go <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and staying until the end if you did. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this from me. And I will catch you guys all in the next video. Until next time. Bye. Mwah.